In this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up the equipment menu and the weapons, how to set those up so that when we spawn a weapon into our player's hand we can um, attach different stats to our character and such and have it show up in the equipment menu. Now we won't be adding the inventory part to this yet, we'll just be working on the equipment menu but I thought I would go over some of the basics before we start up doing the other stuff because it might be a longer tutorial and I'm trying to keep these tutorials somewhat short. I know these uh, newer ones will be kind of long because I have to go over a lot of stuff but yeah we're just going to be setting up those basics for now. So what you're going to want to do is just create your weapon separately and we're going to be attaching a item stat script to this weapon. Now each weapon is going to have their own item stats, so that way when we attach the script to each one, we can change the variables in here. We can give it its own icon, we can uh, give it its own, actually that's just for referencing so we can equip it to the player's hand. That's not really anything really. Item type, uh, what type of weapon it is, I have mine labeled 0 equals um, a weapon, 1 equals a helmet, 2 equals shoulders and stuff along those lines. But you can set that up however you want. Item attack power, this is just a basic stat. Um, that was just for testing purposes. Um, in the end I would I would include a bunch of different stats like stamina or how fast it can attack and stuff but we're just setting up the basics for now so it's just going to be basic stuff. And then in my player we're going to be adding well, for me and my player stats, I'm adding a new weapon slot because this is where I set up my um, my icons and such. So we can go in here. Sorry if this tutorial starts to become very confusing. I'll explain it more in the next tutorial, but I'll try going over the stuff the best I can, what I've included, and what I'm doing. So what I did was create an, some inventory icons. Now these are going to be where we're storing our weapon slot icons. I'll show you that in the GUI very soon here, but this is where we're, when we, um, when we spawn an item, or we instantiate an item into our game, uh, our game is going to grab, or it's going to apply certain icons and certain stats to different areas of the game. So when our weapon spawns, depending on what weapon it is, when we equip it, um, we want it to go into a certain slot. Now we're using an array, so this is how you define an array right here. And an array is just a list of different objects. You can store tons and tons of objects in here and you can reference them. We've worked with arrays before. So instead of doing like weapon slot 1, texture 2D, weapon slot 2, you can just store it all into here and reference it using like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, what, whatever, whatever slot that, um, that texture is in. So we'll go down here and what I did was create GUI buttons and for each slot. So before I continue I'm gonna just show you guys how I set this up in game. So if we go to our inventory you can see that I have buttons set up for each one. Now this one right here is with the GUI style set to none. So GUI style is um, how the icon looks and how when you hover over it you see uh, see it highlight and such. This way if I, I can click on this and do all kinds of stuff that a normal button can do but it doesn't have this this annoying button in there so it looks like it fits right into that slot for my weapon. So all the other ones haven't been given that GUI style dot none but this is how it looks after because uh, it'll readjust the size of this icon if we leave it like that and it'll leave this this annoying button there so we want it to be blank so it fits right in there. So that's how I set up my buttons. So each of these different uh, locations is a location so this is for the top row, the top five, and this is the bottom five. And you're gonna have to set that up yourself um, to whatever your preference is what you're doing for your uh, your game because your equipment menu is probably not going to look the same as mine. You might have more items and different stuff like that that you can equip. So in each one of these, this is for the image of the icon. 
right here. So this is what would get plugged into that button. That square box, that's where the image would go. So weapon slot one, zero, that's for our first button. And then we do one, two, three, and we can store the icons in each of those locations and they link up to each button. Now here's the GUI style dot none, which will take away that annoying button style if you're not looking for that for your game. So I believe that's all I set up for this. You can put this code wherever you want. I just put it somewhere where I can easily access it since I'm going to be transferring a lot of stats. I want to keep a lot of my stuff in one file even though it gets really messy. Um, I just keep track of it in my head where everything is because I've been working with this project for a while. So yeah. Actually close that, close that. So item stats. This is going to be um, what's going to be applied to every item like I said. So every item you're instantiating will have this code with their own set variables. Item attack power. This is just my attack power or how much attack power the item will have and this is how much attack power that will be applied to our player while this item is in the scene. Once it gets deleted we'll have to take away that attack power so it doesn't stay with the player and swap it out for a different weapon's attack power for swapping weapons. Item type, this is the type of weapon it is. Like I said before, I have them listed right here, what I have set up right now. I have a longer list, but for now I just set up that. Um, item icon, this is the icon that's going to display in that slot. So slot zero is my weapon slot. So if this is a Let's just say this is a weapon, because it is. I'm going to set this to zero, and the icon, I'm going to give it a weapon icon for that weapon. And this item transform, this is for plugging into this code, which I'm using. Don't need that, or that. But this is for um, taking this item, so what I did was drag itself onto item and then yeah it can reference this bone which is under the uh, the player or the skeleton and it'll attach the item to there and then here is how we're going to be affecting our player's stats so player stats dot attack power and then plus equals item underscore attack power so what we're going to be doing is um, giving our our player some more attack power. Now I think, let's see here, I think because of that code that was able to access, but I think you're supposed to throw this code above here as well, because we're accessing this from player stats. But yeah, it seems to work for now without that. So we're just using um, other script again. That's just the name for it, so we can access stuff from our other script. Uh, player stats, player stats, plug player stats into there. And this code is on our player. So player stats is on player, so we need to find that and find the code attached to that to access the variables. And what we're going to be using this for as well is um, adding item icons to our to that slot. So depending on what type of item it is, it'll plug it into each slot. Like I said, zero is weapon, one is helm, two is shoulders. So we're referencing off zero. So if this is set to zero, it'll check for this zero and it will apply the icon to the first slot. Or the zero slot, which is which is the first slot in the array. So yeah. And then when it goes to access it, so it'll apply this to slot zero. And then it'll it'll toss it into the array. And from the array, it'll access it here. So pretty much it's just it's taking that item icon that we attach to here, plugging it into here, throwing it, tossing it over into here, throwing it into that array and linking it up into this slot. So any other um, image that was in that slot previously will be
pretty much replaced by our new image. And that's how that works. So if I were to swap out a different weapon, I would delete the pre, or if I create a prefab right now, I don't have instantiate and prefab set up for these items. But if I were to delete the item, I would, I would delete everything. And when I go to delete it, I want to minus equals this attack power. So I have it set at 10 right now in the inspector, but yeah, it'll take that away. Another thing you guys want to know about um, when you create your, your an array, this will be set to zero. You're going to have to change the size to how much you or how many um, icons you're going to be using. So I just made it 11 just to make sure. But here is so for each slot we're going to be using. So right now I have nine set up currently. Well, it'd be 10 with the zero, but that's how many slots we're going to be using. So you're going to have to set that number. You can set it to a higher number if you just want to be safe or else you're going to get an error when you're doing this. So yeah, I am going to be, let me see here real quick, going to be including this code. You guys, it's not, because you guys are going to have to set up your buttons differently and that takes two seconds to make. But in here, you're going to have to change around a lot of stuff depending on how your game is set up. Your scripts might be labeled differently than mine. So hopefully you guys can reference off of the script and get the script working correctly because you're going to need to have some of this stuff set up. So when we go and we start creating um, our bag inventory so that we can transfer different variables over, you want to have something set up. So that's pretty much all I have set up currently. So, yep, that's set up. I'm gonna have to change all these up to the GUI style and add some more icons in here for each of my weapons. And in future tutorials, I'm gonna, see, the cool thing about buttons is when you hover over them, you can also put a label that pops up over here or somewhere um, so we can get, we can tell what item stats it has. So if it needs to reference off something in game, so maybe this weapon does the attack power thing, maybe I want it to display what the attack power is. Because right now when I started off my game, I had two attack power, but since my weapon is in there, I have 12. If I made an instantiate and I deleted it and I minus equals 10, I would go back to two. Or if I had a new weapon, it would increase that. So, yeah, 